Hello everyone. Please kindly invite everybody. Kindly invite everybody. Invite everybody to this very important episode with Dion Osage. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much for believing in me. May the good Lord continue to bless you. May those you help don't turn their back against you. May the good you do continue to pave way for you. May you continue to be celebrated. May those who not like you plan not plan evil against you. So join in, join in, join in. When we get to 1,000 view, then we'll go from there, okay? Thank you so much, guys. I've been really crying. Thank you so much. Keep coming in. Keep coming in, guys. Dr. Cardo. Dr. Cardo in the building. Dr. Cardo in the building. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real Odogu is here. The real Odogu is here. Mr. I can't do it alone. We have a lot to talk about today, but we are going to do it based on episode because the story too long. My people, I said the story too long. We know if we do one for one day, it's not possible. Because for me, my time is very important. Since I became an honorable, my time is very important. We don't use our time anyhow. Now, governors and presidents, that we talk to now. So when you see me online like this, you know that I just want to make it nice and brief, okay? So we're going to have five episodes. So this is episode one, okay? This is episode one. Tibor Entertainment, Edo Festival and Award. We saw what you did in Spain. Congratulations to you. I couldn't make that event because I had a very, very important political meeting. But definitely we have more awards to do, more festivals to do in the near future. I am so proud of you for what you have been able to achieve in just a few time you have moved to Spain. A Dove Music Festival is going to be an, a wonderful initiative that we are going to support. To all God's and family that went to that event, Mama Germany who came all the way from Germany, Skimia and all these good people, uh, Fabomo, Jackie Sula, Don VS, I appreciate you guys. All right? So please, we have a lot, of, a lot to discuss about. Um, because they are they quiet, no me say we'll be full. Because they will not talk much, no me say we'll be full. But before I proceed, I want to use this moment to thank each and every one of you. Before I start this thing, I want to thank everybody who gets sense. I want to thank all the social media presenters. I know if you mention all names. But where it gets sense, where, where if you read between the line, where, where you read the line, you read the line, you look the line, say, man, mm, this is not correct. Mm -hmm. I thank you so much for having common sense. To those of you who don't have common sense, including some of my followers, including some of the people that the God Sent Foundation have helped their family member, shame on you. Including some of the people that the God Sent Foundation has helped their family who have turned back against me. Who did not call me to say, Dion, what did it happen? But go, back, go behind me, spoiling my name, shame on you. Thank you so much, everyone. God sent family around the world. Thank you so much for everything you have done in our community. God sent family around the world. Thank you so much for everything you have done in our community. Thank you for being a part of the change we wish to see. Oh, my lawyer is calling me. Please hold on real quick. Hold on. I need to take this call. Um, let me call him. not spend we'll get another life to join if you are tired of watching me you can log out now we don't beg people to watch us okay we do not beg people to watch us okay 
All right, so let's continue. I want to take a moment to appreciate every single member of God's Saint Foundation around the world. Please, guys, forgive me. Forgive me for my heart of kindness. Forgive me for pulling you along all the drama over the years for being good. Please forgive me. Because because of me, many of you have received a lot of insults. I apologize for that. Please forgive me. Because of me, because of kindness, because we want to help our community, because we want to create social change, because we believe in a better Edo, because we believe in a better Nigeria, a lot of you who do not deserve it have received a lot of insult because of me. And I'm so sorry for that. I'm so sorry. It breaks my heart. But for me, it doesn't make any difference to me because I'm a leader. A leader is supposed to expect all kinds of insults. If you want to lead and not ready for people to look down on you, not ready for people to insult you, not ready for people to deform your character, not ready for people to, to call you all kinds of names, mm -hmm. then you are not ready mm -hmm. for leadership. Leadership comes with knowing that people are going to look down on you. To my wonderful mom, Mrs. Patience, there is no one woman like you in the world. You are the perfect definition of what I want my wife to be. My mom, you are the perfect definition of what I want my wife to be. And even if it take a hundred years to meet that woman, I will not settle for less. Because of me, people who, are, who cannot even stand in my face will curse you out, will disrespect you, and you will still say, my son, leave them, forgive, forgive them. What kind of mother are you? What kind of mother will be insulted by people she never, people, I don't even know how to say it. But she will still tell, my son, don't worry about that, my son. Did they have Mom, I am sorry. Mom, I am sorry for bringing you to this mess. I'm sorry for letting people who are not even in the class of your smallest daughter, my smallest sister, people, my smallest sister, will come online disrespecting you. Mom, I'm sorry. God sent family around the world to the lovers of the Onosage. I am sorry if I ever let you down. I'm sorry. Doge, doge, esse no saume, doge, esse no saume, doge, esse no saume, doge. Look, man, sometimes in life, what people think that they are using to spoil your name, what people think that they are using to mess you up can be a blessing. It can be a blessing. For what people think that, oh, I want to say this, they are going to hate the Nosage. More people can love you more. In the last one week, I have received over 5 million naira from people who love me online because they are spoiling my name. In the last one week, I have received 5 million naira as a gift. My story is too long. My story is too long, but let's start with Prissy. All right? Let's start with Prissy. But before I start, I want to see some stars. I don't talk for free anymore. I'm an honorable. If you don't give me stars, no topic. If you don't give me stars, no topic. Let's be seeing the stars. Because then they give topic, then they give stars to people where they do at the phone. Now, one year story, we're going to start with Prissy. I'm going to tell you the very first day I met Prissy, what transpired, what went on, how she defrauded the, the, the how she planned an insurance scam. What, as she took me to Leeds to, to put, uh, uh, to file a case against Abad in Leeds, and uh, what she said about our friend that is fighting for her today, Lolo. You don't even know, you think you have a friend. Lolo do not even know that it was me that booked the hotel that they stayed in Barcelona. I was the one that booked the hotel. She thought that she was the one that brought Prissy to, to the reunion. She doesn't even know that me and Prissy were already gossiping her before even the re reunion. Lolo, do you remember the day that your son, who was in love with Prissy's daughter, do you remember the day they had a quarrel? I was the one that settled that matter. 
I will tell you guys, I want to see some stars. I love you shout, Abe. I love you shout, man. What did you tell me? The uh, form of Dogu. I love you shout. If you don't give me stars, I know they talk. Eh? You don't even know. Men, if you are a man, if you married any woman, first orientation of a man, never you let your wife have a single friend. For what now? Why would you be married? Your wife would be hanging out with a single woman. A single mother. Does that even make any sense? Bread of the same feather fly together. Married women should hang out with married women. Single men should hang out with single women. Why would a single woman be hanging out with a married is there, is there not something wrong there? So please let's see let's see the stars. A M B will say no Frank. I bet more leave Frank, matter first. That one too. I don't want to use my time to talk about Frank. Now we marry grandmother, marry woman, we reach your bone you. Now they say we are not in the same class. I have a lot to talk about. Give me stars. Let's go, man. I don't want to talk about Frank. I hear he's talking a lot about me, but you know that's a low class nigga now. I know if you can respond. I mean, on the real, I don't want to respond to all these bitches making noise online. But at some point, you let you have to let people hear your your view. Now me and woman will come the rapport, come say, oh this woman, this woman. I don't have time for that. I'm too busy, man. All right, so please, I want to see my stars, man. If you are not giving me stars, give me an alert. <coughs> no, your star. I don't need that kind of star. My star button is not showing. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, the star button is not showing. Okay, we'll take an exception for today. Now, the story begins. Like you already know, most of you already know, the star button is not working. Yeah? He paid me, oh, cha, cha, cha. The star button is not working. Jesus. I forgot to get 5,000 stars right now. Jesus Christ. How can the star button not be working? Yeah. See, problem. Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. Paul, pull your account number there. Mr. Paul, pull your account number there. If you are watching me. Let me put Mr. Let me put the Godsend Foundation account number. Wawa Ari Goyo, me for the pen then. Wawa Ari Goyo, look at a man like me. A man like me. You want to date me at 55 and you expect me to be your lover, lover? Is he lover, lover? For what? You want to date a man like me? You are not bringing anything to the table. The small change you used to support our charity, you are telling us to come and bring it back. Make under fire your life. Huh? Mommy List TV. I see you. Thank you so much for your support. I have a lot to talk about. It's a working day. <laughs> I have a lot to talk about. So first, I want to tell you guys I met Prissy. How can a woman be married? God, Father Lord, forgive me if I have committed any sins. How can you be married? You lure me in. You lure me in. A married woman. A married woman lured me in to be doing things that is against the will of God. Father, Lord, forgive me. I didn't know she was still married. I did not know that she was still married. How am I supposed to know when she did not tell me? Anyway, this is all political. But let's take it one step at a time. So on this beautiful day, like I always do, I was actually in Manchester. I was in Manchester doing my thing, visiting family, having a good time. I was on my way to Nigeria. I always stop in UK. My phone rang. My phone rang. As my phone ring, I said, how far? Who be that? He said, oh, my name is, you know, all this fake, fake life. Oh, my name is Prince. Oh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the CEO of, um, of, uh, she's, she's beautiful. I said, okay. And they get cause normal, normal lifestyle. They get cause every day. Women they toast me every day, not be a new thing. Women they toast me every day, not be a new thing. I mean, look at me now, look at me, come on. Look at me now, look at me. Look at me. Huh? Look me. So I received a call saying that uh humble yourself, so I lift you up. I, I want to humble rich. I never humble rich. I never am bullish. Anyway, so I received a call. Like, oh, this is pretty shit. I said, oh, I have been here now. Who be this one again? He said, oh, I've been trying to call you on Messenger. I said, okay, what's your name? I went to my Facebook and I saw that 
like more than 20 missed calls on my messages. I said, oh, what can I do for you? He said, oh, I run the business. Oh, my business is not really moving. I would like for you to come and do an advert on the business. I said, it's not free. I don't do free adverts. He said, oh, no problem. I, I got it. Just come over. I swear. I said, okay, no problem. How much are you going to pay me? We discussed. He said, you just confessed. On a good day, I went to the shop. When I got to the shop, there were some customers there. I couldn't do the adverts for the shop that day. He said, oh, no worries. Just do tomorrow. Sleep in one hotel. I went to the hotel. Slept in the hotel. They treat me good. I still have some videos on my phone. They treat me good. Make me feel irate. And it, it was all good, right? Let me see if I can find some video for you guys. So they took me to an hotel. I slept in the hotel alone on this night. I slept on the hotel alone. Nice hotel. You know, all those ancient hotels, you know, gave me breakfast. Everything, everything was nice. The next day, we were supposed to do the job. Number one, when I went to the shop, I said, you know, let us see your record. The record shows that they only made about $100, 150 every day. I looked at the shop, the setup was not good enough. I said, okay, you know what? I can rebrand this shop. I am a global consultant. I am a global consultant. I get paid for what I do. I get paid to help people set up businesses. I get paid to rebrand businesses. I went there. The next day, he said, oh, I cook some food at home. Why don't you come to my house? Come and see how beautiful my house is. Oh, I, I live alone with my daughter. Oh, yeah, yo, you know, we have four rooms. I said, okay, no big deal. I go visit people all the time. It's not a big deal. I left my hotel. When I got to the house, they were like, oh, um, oh, you know, we have four Why don't you just take one room? Take one room now. Just relax in one room. I looked at it. I said, relax in one room. Um, okay, it's no big deal. Let me chill out in the room. Omo. Um, now, so I they sleep all night. Now, so I they sleep all night. I mean, I they sleep like madman. Now, so I sleep. Uh, I they even they snore. As I said, they snore like this. You know, some kind of dream what you would get. You would get some kind of dream. The next thing what I see, I they see something they move. Something they move. They move from my, from my Ikea. Hey, what the fuck is this? I look. Go my head, they did my head to do like this. I said, stop, stop. He said, no, no, Dion, just wait, just wait. Put. I said, what the fuck? Make we not lie. At that point, I not feel resist myself. Nah, nah, plus I want. Bah! I plus that on. I not feel lie. But all those videos where they talk, say, oh, it's just, it's just. Business relationship. I will say that kissy kissy video not not come out now. They will say now nah, business relationship. I will say that kissy kissy. Mm, you may kiss your brother. Mm, you may kiss your brother. Mm, mm. I will say not come out now. Many of you go to say na so it be na so it be. How can you come out openly and lie? Because I refuse to give you what you want. How can you come out openly and lie to people? Since 2022, and I didn't see pass so. Since 2022, no problem. They call everybody, say, Dion, Dion. I was single. I could do whatever I want to do. I had multiple girlfriends. Those of you who said, you know, see woman. If you see my new girl, if you see my new baby, no worry, man, no worry yet. You say, I know you see woman. So, long story short, that was that was gone that was gone we started working on a project i have so many projects that i did for her that i will bring out later did t-shirt banner set up the website for her uh, started loading items on the website their sales in just two months of working with prissy from a hundred dollars they started making close to a thousand dollars that was my effort i was able to rebrand the shop from making a hundred and twenty dollars to close to one thousand dollars i did that Yes, yes, I, pl I plastered the rubbish. I mean, she, I mean, it wasn't so good, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you don't expect a 55 years old coochie to be as a 20 years old coochie, right? I mean, I'm not going to lie, I did. 
I did. It wasn't so good. The smartest thing that came out of her mouth was Magbola. Nothing more. But going forward, we started working together, you know, to see how we can rebrand that. Before I know him, this babe don't go do office for me for uh, 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 this thing. Don't go, don't go buy a desk, buy a laptop, buy everything. So you just be staying here. This will be your office. This will be my office. I said, ah, what did they, what did they, what did they play? You want to change them? This is not what I came for. You don't do office for me. If you know the building very well, go and verify. It's two, one floor, second floor. They do office for me. They go buy everything. Put laptop there. Do everything. Say, ah, I can't believe it. Say, what did they, what, what did they happen here? Before I know it, oh, where is your son? Oh, I want to be taking care of him. I'm going to bring him to UK. Okay, we we'll bring. I, I said, ah, you can't believe I said to lose myself. I can't even look old every day. I can't even see me today now. Every day I can't even look old. And they look old. I said, man, what did it happen? But on one good day, now so I said, get up. I said, hey, I revived myself. From the moment I revived myself, no problem, they start to. From the moment I revived, I got my thinking, saying, what the fuck are you doing, Dion? You left a 21 years old, you were married to a 21 years old pastor daughter with fresh backyard, everything. Then you want to go and be with a 55 years old, third time married woman. And this time she was still married. Please, if you know the husband, tell him to forgive me. I did not know. How can you be married and you are over there? Looking for young boys to deceive. Maybe she have thought, oh, I don't see better guy. Not be a little better guy, not better goo. Me young boy. Not be a little better guy. You move around, move around, move around. You not see the kind of way you need. You can't say that me, Dr. Cardo. I'm not asking any questions. Don't ask me any questions. So long story short, I don't want to start mentioning other things that happened, that transpired. When her sister did a wedding in one of those Europe countries, I was the one that set up her for the tree. Even the Lord Lord that is chatting today, that is thinking that, oh, you know this girl before reunion. Lord Lord, it was me that planned your trip to God sent you, you know me. You did not have money for tickets. We bought your tickets. We paid for the hotel. Odogu, I have a message for you. What happened on that day? The, ask your wife who took her to the airport, the early morning flight. What happened that night? She went to the airport. The episode is too long. The episode is too long. Look, if you are a single woman there, out there, and you are over 50, and you don't have a man, you are not married, and you have a lot of money, please call me, I need a helper. If you are a single woman out there, please, and you are not married, I need a helper. Come and help me. So you expect me to be dating a 55 years old woman that Bob Risky even look better than you be with a woman. You that you deal with man. You deal with man. Breast be like a breast be like this. Nyash be like one time be like man. Boom be like this thing. Even Bob Risky is more prettier. You want me to deal with woman? Say then the woman. I know you know they, you know they, you know they, you know they, you know they help me build my dream. That one makes sense. If I be your brother, if I be your brother, I be your brother. Let's be, let's keep sentiment aside. Say I be your brother now. Then I come to you say, oh, oh, meet meet my girl. You know, tell me slap. You know, tell me slap. Say me join you the Chris. We're 22, 23 years old, 25 years old. Ned Ned Wanko. They I mean, 70 years old. Regina day 20 something. Then I come. I don't travel the whole world. I say now that one. I want to deal with. Let's be sincere. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's call a spade a spade. So moving forward, you know, that was how that, you know, and uh, when I saw, when I started seeing how she was acting, how she talked down. Do you know that this same woman, the baby daddy, lives in Atlanta? The way this woman they talked about her ass. Give me the picture of the kind of woman. I was never with her, don't get me wrong. She was just a woman I had a thing with on the side. 
I was not in a relationship with her. The way she talk about this guy, do you know that the, the daughter never talked to her papa for five years? I was trying to make a mess. I said, you know what, well, call this guy. He doesn't, I mean, they use the preach, say, look, mothers, not be the use relationship of your daughter and father till they come between them. If those you know they get along with the man, you will see try to make the man they reach. Now maybe they try till today. That little girl Chanel never talked to a papa for five years. Go and verify. I try to make a mess. Even the last husband we marry, where he used Juju. Now Juju they told that man. I don't know his name. Juju, now they tell all the man. I saw a picture of the man in one of the rooms. They just uh, 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 read, read this t -t 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 thing, put up a one corner of the room. I look at I hear. I say, eh? My brother, go and meet a prophet if you are hearing me now. I'm talking about the last one where it just happened, the last S, where the other voice about three months ago or four months ago. Go and see a pastor. I'm telling you the truth. Lolekia na episode na attention na episode we know if you give body the story too long now five episodes I want to do we will talk about Odugu, we will talk about Lolekia, we will talk about Gossen reunion we will talk about Abat Obaze <coughs> do you know that Abat I heard a story for you do you know that it was this woman you are fighting for it was this same woman that drove me to Leeds police station I see her the record I have a case against you at the Leeds police station Abat she told me that she was going to pay to make sure that you don't finish. That was when you were saying, when you did the video, say, uh, I, I, I fight her for four years. I, I, There's a case against you at least police station, Albert. This woman was the one that gingered me to go and do a case against you. But when I made the case against Albert, I looked at it. I said, look, anything you do abroad, they're going to put it on your record. If I start to drag my brother, Abbott, well, how will it benefit me? How will it benefit me for Abbott to have a record in UK? Maybe in the future, when he wants to start applying for a citizenship, they're going to pull out his record and see that all these records are there. It's going to affect you. Even a driving record is going to affect you abroad. But I look at it and say, you know what? I am an Edo man. What the Oba of Benin wants us to do is to be progressive in Edo. I will not pursue this case. If you see the post I did there, they tried to call me, they were calling me, saying me, I ignored. This same woman was the woman that pushed me to do that. Because if I wanted to do that, all these years Abbott have been ranting, I could have done that, but I did not. This woman, since I stopped paying her mind, you know what she did? All the people that were working for me, she made friends with them. The people that were fighting me, she made friends with them. My errand boy, who worked for me, she gave the errand boy a job, mm -hmm. rented a house for the boy. Maybe she's packaging the boy for herself. I don't know, because I was told that she loved young, young guys. I was told that she loved young guys. She gave the errand boy a job and started to sponsor the Aaron boy to come online to start insulting me, insulting my non-profit, insulting members of my foundation. Then I had to get the young boy arrested. I arrested the young boy, they took him to court. It was the Edo State Government Chief Security Officer that called, maybe he had a link with Abad, that called to bail him. We have a court coming up this month. I think October 29 is the next court date. But I'm looking at it. They went again to try to get him. They did not see him. They arrested the dad. The dad has to sell his kekena pep. How does that make me feel? Knowing that a person that doesn't deserve it has to suffer for the crime of his son. It doesn't make me feel good. The dad live over there in Second West in a one-bedroom apartment. What kind of case am I going to do with that kind of a man that cannot do anything for me? What kind of case can I do with my errand boy, somebody that I picked from the streets, to be, to be watching over Osamu Diame, to be driving Osamu Diame, to be buying me food, to even go sometime and buy me some condoms when I want to have sex. So what kind of case can I do with that? So they picked up his dad, the dad had to sell a shorty, sold his kekenape, 
and look at all this mess the young man put his dad. Is it worth it? So the, this lady was able to buy my errand boy to start talking down on us. This lady has been the one sponsoring my errand boy. The records are there. Before now, before now, this same lady was not friends with Abatabaze. Like I said, she was the one who took me to Leeds to write a case against Abat. Immediately I start talking to this woman. This same woman now become friends with Abadabaze, goes to his show. I even heard that Brain, Brain Jota, one of the shows they went, the guy even went to his house. Who knows what he that one do there? Brain Jota that did a show in Leeds went to this woman's house. So this woman I made friends with the people that, that, that I was against just to get back at me. She started supporting a non-profit organization in a door state, start posting them, showing them just to say, oh, I'm not supporting you again, or I'm supporting somebody better. But I didn't give it them because soldier go, soldier come. She did not even stop there. She even went further. Manipulated Osamu Diame, our God sent boy. This same woman, please, guys, use my life as a lesson. Use my life as a lesson. Everything that happens to me in life should be used as a lesson. So, this same woman, because when the going was good, when the thing is sweet, you know, Osamu Diame is my boy. I mean, I want him to benefit from anybody I'm connected with. I say, you know, Osamu Diame, you know, Talk to her. Oh, where's your boy? I want to check on you. Say, oh, check on somebody. Blah, blah, blah. So after all this, when I went to the U.S., before I went to the U.S., I said, you know what? Osamu Diame is in, is in Benin, and I'm going to be in the U.S. for at least a year just to clear my head because a lot of shit was going on. I said, Osamu Diame, you're going to move to Lagos. Osamu Diame loved it. The reason I'm moving Osamu Diame to Lagos, Osamu Diame's dream is to play soccer. And I contacted the Word of Faith school where Osamu Diame was going to school. I contacted the Word of Faith. Word of Faith does not have any plans for a soccer team. I went ahead and registered Osamu Diame at Pepsi Football Club in Benin City. But even at the registration, they would never let Osamu Diame leave school to go and practice. And the only way I could do that was to bring him to Lagos to attend one of the best government schools in Lagos. Lagos State Modern School in Ekbe, go and verify what it takes to enter that school. That is the school Fashola graduated from. That is the school Ambode graduated from. I put Osamu Diame in that school and also find a guardian who is more like my father to take care of Osamu Diame when he's not in boarding school. The family of Osamu Diame was saying, because the man is a retired colonel. Are you with me? The man Osamu Diame was staying with is a retired colonel in the army. The wife studied in, in UK. They have three children who are doing excellent. They have three children. I said, you know what, some of them will be a good person here. Let's put him in school. When he's not in school, you go and stay with this family. But this lady was chatting with some of men, used my errand boy to deceive some of them for some of them to run away from home. When some of them ran away from home, I did not do anything about it. I said, okay, I don't try my best. And that was just about a, almost a year ago. It's not even up to a year. So when she saw that, even with, with, with all the drama with the something I met, I did not say anything. I was looking because at the end of the day, I have done my best. The whole world knows I have done my best. Osamu Diame is not calling her mommy. Osamu Diame that we picked up from the street in 2017 started World of Faith in 2018 and I met this lady in well, 2022 that is not lying today that she was the one paying Osamu Diame school fees from day one. Say I was paying the school fees. How? I, I, I don't know if you exist in 2022. I, I've never met you before. Osamu Diame have been under a godsend family care. It was a godsend way forward group that always took care of Osamu Diame. There was no complaint. The only thing I did for Osamu Diame was buying food, buying clothes, make sure his hygiene is okay. But the school fees was taken care of by a God sent way forward group. May God bless those group. Edo Blog TV. Did you collect that money? Hell fucking no. 
Uh, no. The answer is no. And so some of you who are so small-minded, somebody who will tell you that they collect 100 million. Do you know what's 100 million? Do you know what's 100 million? You think 100 million is just 10 million? Every support, every money received from, from this lady was for a godsend foundation, a godsend widows, a godsend project. If she said that I did business with her, let her come and prove it. By tomorrow, I'm doing a letter for her, you know, for my lawyer, to come and prove it. You can't just make a false allegation all because of politics. This is all political-based blackmail. For two years now, you did not come out to tell us that this guy took my money. But because they saw, they collaborated with Abad Obaze, because they saw the crowd, that the massive crowd that I pulled for our incoming governor, Mode Opevolo, the massive crowd in Ego, we want Ego. When they saw the massive crowd, they were intimidated. They started thinking, what can I do now? What can we say now to blackmail this boy, to make him look bad in, in the eyes of this governor? It not gonna work because we don't already know now format. That was what Abad Obase and his team did during Obaseki. They knew that Obaseki would have given me a good potential, possibly to make Edo better. They started spoiling my name in front of the governor. Hey, no, no, no. But Edo people are wise now. Before Obaseki became a governor, I was already the, the founder, the president of a Godsend Foundation. Before Obaseki became a governor, I was already the founder and the president of the foundation. Boy. When Oshomole was in power, that was when I started Godsend Foundation in Edo State. Oshomole is gone. Obaseki is gone. Opevolo is coming and we are still here. So who won? The abbot that said that, look, Terosage, we will chase him up for Edo State. Where are you today, bro? Where are you today? The, 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 the abbot that said you want to chase us out of Edo State. We are in Nigeria. Where are you? You see, this is karma. This is karma. You that said that the God's Foundation must stop. Even yesterday, we did, uh, Friday, we did the brokers. Where are you? Because you guys saw that I campaigned for my governor. We won our local government. Because you saw that this government is going to favor me. You all want to spoil my name. So that they can say, oh, this person is bad and lie. You know, they work. Because at the end of the day, you have done it to the deputy governor. Uh, our incoming deputy governor, Denko. You have done it to the uh, uh, social media president. You have done it to Bobizwa. You have done it to Captain Osa. They have done it to everybody. So the whole world is already aware. The format the PDP are trying to use to blackmail me is not going to work. If I owe you money, you, can't, you don't get money on social media. You can take me to court. And I mean, thank God for today, I have passed the stage whereby police will just come and arrest me. They will just come and say, hey, you're under arrest. Somebody say you take that money. The police is mad. When somebody say you take that money, you have to show proof now. It's a civil case. You have to show proof that like, this person truly will, will take my money. Oh. Then they will not come and say, oh, what, did, what, uh, what, what uh, inspired? How did this money? Then I'll say, oh, this is what happened. This is what happened. If I'm guilty, I'll tell them, look, I'll pay 100000 every month for the next 20, 30, 40 years. But now on social media, this is a format to blackmail me, and it's not going to work. How can an old woman at 55 be looking for young men to sleep with? I'm the one that's supposed to be demanding money now. They make me dry. They make me dry. Every night now. Mm, 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 mm. ah, what did they happen? What's so What did they happen now, Juju? So you think that you're going to come online to tell people, oh, you know, say, oh, dear, you took my money. God will not forget you. Then people, I will start saying, hey, no, we had sex, and it was not a good sex. The smartest thing that came out of your mouth was my bola. The first video she did is there. So it was just business, nothing personal. Thank God to the person that brought out that picture. I wasn't the one. I don't even know where you all saw that picture. You put a poster. You put a poster of my mom. Through your bulldog. I don't even want to be talking about Lolo because we are not even on the same level. Look at our family house. The people that we help. 
from a gospel foundation does not even live like that. The people that we see on the street will say, you know what, we want to get. We don't even put them in the house like that. Then I will start replying somebody like that. Think about it. So think about it. I will start responding to somebody like Lolo, whose family house is like a four bedroom abandoned building. The dad's grave. I thank God. Many of you see how I honor my dad every time. I go clean his grave, give him some drink. Look at somebody that comes online to disrespect Kora Obidi's family. For many years, this same woman was insulting Kora's Obidi's dad. Kora, who is just doing her thing, trying to become a star, trying to support her family. She was disrespecting this man for many years. Look at, look at, come on. A date will be announced to address that issue. We are going to create a fundraising to go and fix up that house. We are going to create a fundraising to go and fix us. Please, if you have Cora's obedience number, somebody, a family friend of Cora's obedience called me today. We are going to raise money. When I get back to Benin now, the first thing I want to do, I want to take off the roof of the house, put a new roof, fix it up, fix up the grave. Look at, look at a man who gave birth. You'll be in London. Odugu, hey, Odugu, Odugu. You are doing Odugu in London, but your home is like a piece of shit. Your home is like a piece of shit. Like where all those grass copper. Now all those places they forgot the cash, uh, all those uh, rabbits. Look at look at the house. Look at your brother. Look at your brother, your brother. Even the Osamudia men that are stood against us with the help of Priscilla today did not even live like that. You are online ranting. Eh? You, you showing receipt that you send my mom money. I send you. I didn't ask you to. There are so many times I don't even know how this lady called my mom's number. God is my witness. I told my mom, I said, no, mom, you can't do that. You can't be talking to people that are associated with me. But you know, of course, mother, my mom is so nice. Those of you who have the opportunity to speak to her. You send my mom money. So fucking what? She should go and return the money you sent to her. Not the money where you want it. Thank Thank the mama will give you the bola where you suck. So you give person mama where you suck the bola. Support. Make sure they're okay. Then you are coming online, sending your bulldog to say, who, who gives a fuck about that? Nobody gives a fuck about that. Okay, so nobody gives a fuck about that. Okay, so to answer your question straight and direct for this very episode, no, Priscilla did not give me any money. She was only trying to manipulate me so that I can be on her team. But I was too smart for her. If she supported a God sent foundation, the money she supported with is not refundable because those money were directly dispersed to the good that she wanted to use it for. She is the one that hold me. Because I created an environment for our work to increase our sales and she have not paid me. I have the records. And another day I will tell you the story how she defrauded the government of UK. A woman who stayed, she told me to do it. I told her I could not do that. She said, Dion, you know you are not American now. You just go to my shop, break the shop. The insurance will pay me. I will give you something. I said, no, I can't do that. Sorry. I said, I can't do that. He said, no, they will not know now. You are from America. Just break the shop. Then I will not call the police. I said, no, I can't do that. I, that's not my thing. Next two weeks, the next thing I heard, they break the shop. Insurance paid out millions of pounds. Not even millions, maybe thousands of pounds. She, she broke into her shop. She collected insurance. Is that not a fraud? Is that not a scam for you to, 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 to break into your own shop? Call the police that it was criminal that came to your shop and now collected insurance money. Is that not a scam? I level scammer is calling me a scammer. How did I scam you? We have a lot to say. We have a lot to talk about. This is not the only episode. This is just episode one. But to clear the hell, 
my good people of Edo State, my good people of Nigeria. It was more than just business. She manipulated me just the way she has manipulated my boy to do the things I'm not supposed to do. And I'm sorry to the ex sir. I did not know that she was still legally married to you until I saw on Facebook page where she published, oh, uh, thank God, I just restored my bride price and finally divorced. I did not know. I thought it was all over. One come to use me the, the cash cruise. One to use me, you want you see more like me. You will be like uh, uh, Bob Risky, senior brother, boom, full everywhere. Boom, chick, boom, be like this. Be like man, no breast, no style. Me will like Nyash. I like Nyash. I know they hide them. And I've told my people very time, if you are going to date me, you have to bring something to the table. Now go see my way love you now. Now go see my way ready, do everything for you now. You kick that good man out. That good man from a door state. You kick him out of the house just three months after he moved from UK. Now you can't find young boy who you one day with. Eh? Maybe they use me the fresh. Me not like fresh. You say so me I did I they forbid fresh meat. Eh? I they forbid fresh meat. Why they use me the they suck your blood? Anyway, my people, this is 